Hi everybody, my name is Dmitry and in this video I want to show you how to install and set up the Museo WordPress theme. This is a free theme, but a premium version with even more features is available. In this video you will learn how to set up the homepage just like the themes demo. I will also explain the themes features, settings and customization options. In the second part of the video I will explain the difference between the free and the premium versions of the theme. I will also provide an exclusive discount code for the premium version of the theme, so stick around. You will find all the necessary links in the description below. Ready to get started? started, let's go. This video was recorded using WordPress 5.5.3 and version 1.1 of the Museo theme. Some parts of this video might be obsolete in future versions of WordPress or of this theme. To install the free Museo theme, go to the dashboard and open the themes page in the appearance section. Click the add new link and search for Museo in the search field. Hover the theme and click the install link. It will take a few seconds for the theme to be downloaded and installed on your website. Click the Activate button to activate the theme. If you are installing Museo on a new WordPress website, then this is what the homepage will look like after activating the theme. When WordPress is installed, it automatically adds some standard widgets to the sidebars. Let's start by removing them. Now let's look at the themes demo and I will show you how to set up every part of it. It's a simple process that anyone should be able to replicate. In the header we have a website logo, the main menu, two secondary menus and a widgetized area with some sample widgets, a standard search widget and a social icons widget. Of course you can place any other widgets in this area or no widgets at all. After that comes a wide cover image. Next comes the welcome area, which is created using a standard text widget. Next comes the featured pages section. It allows you to showcase three of your most important pages. After that we have a recent posts section with a secondary sidebar on the right side. And finally the website's footer, which is divided into three widgetized columns. The themes demo contains a collection of pages and blog posts. The homepage is set to display the latest posts, which is why we have a blog post section on the homepage. I'll get back to this topic later in the video. Now let's take a closer look at every section of the website and I'll show you how to set everything up. Let's start by uploading a logo for our website. Go to the customize page and open the site identity panel. Upload a new image or select an existing one from your media library. After you select the image, click the skip cropping button. The Museo theme has three menu locations in the header of the website. The primary menu is the main menu with a drop-down effect, and the secondary menus are the ones that are displayed to the right of the logo. To add a cover image to the homepage, go to the Customize page and open the header media panel. Upload an image or a video and save your changes by clicking the Publish button. The Featured Pages section is set up on the Customize page in the Theme Settings panel. Simply choose three of your existing pages and they will be displayed here. Your pages must have featured images, otherwise thumbnails will not be displayed. As an example, let's create a new page and display it in this section. There are a few more things that you can do with the home page. On the settings reading page the demo is set to display the latest posts. You can however choose a static page as the home page and a separate page as your blog page. If I do that you can see that the custom sections are no longer displayed on the home page and it looks just like a regular static page. For this reason the theme comes with an additional custom page template. 
Let's edit the About the Museum page, which we have as our home page. In the Page Attributes box, if we select the Custom Home Page template and save the page, we can see that now our home page displays our custom sections and the page content too. Now that we're finished with the home page, let's look at all the other theme features, settings, and customization options. Let's open the Customize page and then the Theme Settings panel. The header can use a compact layout or a centered layout. You can choose if you want to have two sidebars, only one sidebar, or no sidebars at all. This is a global setting that will affect all the pages on your website. You can also display featured images in pages and posts. If you go to the Theme Settings panel and open the Home Page sub-panel, you can change the heading of a blog post section. In the Footer sub-panel, you can change the copyright text and enable or disable the Academia Themes credit link. It's that simple. The free version of the theme also comes with some basic color customization options. Go to the Customize page and open the Theme Colors panel. You can change some of the main colors in the theme. It's quick and easy to implement your brand colors. As an example, let's transform the website's main menu to a different color scheme. Now that I've demonstrated what the free version of a theme can do, let's look at the additional features that are available in the premium version. When you switch from Museo Lite to Museo Pro, all your settings will be transferred over, so you won't have to redo anything. Let's start with the two custom widgets, Call to Action and Featured Page. The Call to Action widget lets you easily create simple buttons. You can choose the button text and URL. You can also set custom colors for every widget. The Featured Page widget can be used in the sidebars to bring attention to important pages. Simply choose the page and the desired layout, standard or overlaid. If you don't want to use the page's featured image, you can choose any other image from the media library. You can also set a custom color for each widget. In the premium version of a theme, you can control the layout of every page and post separately. So you can have pages with two sidebars, one sidebar on either side or no sidebars at all. We might want this specific page to have just the primary sidebar and hide the page's title. Edit the page, choose the sidebar, hide the title, and save the changes. Another really cool thing is the ability for parent pages to display their sub-pages. As an example, let's look at the Culture and Tourism page, which has four sub-pages. If we edit this page, we can see this checkbox for Display Child Pages. Let's click it. Now we get to choose the layout and some more options. Let's save the page and see what happens. We get this list of child pages. What else can we do with this? Let's disable the secondary sidebar and change the layout of the child pages section. What if we remove both sidebars? Then we can display these pages in a grid of four. How great is that? It takes just a few clicks and the theme does everything for you. The premium version of Museo includes font customization options. Go to the Customize page and open the Theme Fonts panel. Here you can choose from the full list of Google Fonts, change the font for different theme sections, tweak the font size, style, and so on. The dynamic menu is a feature that is very useful on websites with a lot of pages. 
When you have pages with multiple child pages, a menu is automatically generated in the sidebar. This menu makes it easier to navigate from one sibling page to another. Here you can choose if you want the dynamic menu in the primary or in the secondary sidebar. And finally, the Museo Pro theme comes with a one-click demo import feature. If you're using the theme on a new website with no content, it takes a minute or two to have a complete replica of one of the theme's demos. This will help you set up your website even quicker. These are some of the main differences between the free and the premium versions of Museo. You can find some useful information on the themes page in the appearance section. On this page you'll find links to theme documentation and to support resources. Please feel free to get in touch if you have any other questions. Alright, that's gonna do for my demonstration of a Museo WordPress theme. If you enjoyed the video, you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And as promised, here's an exclusive discount code for the purchase of a premium version of this theme. You can see the code on your screen. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.